and there on a little leaf about that big sat one of these priceless little babies. This is fabulous. I do want to stay another night. I'd like to do some more work on the ecology. I didn't have my camera with me. It was on and on and on, yada, 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 but we're <laughs> successful! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> This is a representative of a group of toads called the pebble toads. Toads are frogs, but this one is a special toad amongst toads because it's a climber, it's arboreal. This particular one is one that I'm especially interested in because pebble toads commonly are, occur on the summits of the highest tapuis. Tapuis may be among the most ancient evolutionary islands because they're high in altitudes, they're separated from each other, and the animals and plants on the summits of Tapuis are unique there because of the unique climates on summits. It is a biodiversity hotspot on the planet. This is potentially the ancestor because it's in the lower cloud forests that occur at the base of the cliffs of the taller Tapuis. This one may be the ancestor to all those on the summits. We're going to look at those, the DNA from those on the summits, to see whether this in fact is, oh, the ancestor. I'll get her in a minute. Tapuis are an evolutionary archipelago, just like the Galapagos Islands. But what's really interesting about Tapuis is they are potentially much older. This is a small crevasse in rock leading down to this giant chasm I want to explore in the forest in the bottom of it. I got down the bottom, spent three days and three nights and found the animal. It took at least 36 hours to recognize how to find it. We assume the toads are as ancient as the tapuis. But guess what? This work is beginning to show something very interesting. Not only the pebble toads, but many of the reptiles and amphibians that have gotten to the summits are actually pretty recently arrived. And this is a big paradigm shift. A paradigm shift means everybody thought one thing and the whole world has to change now to think another thing. And that's what some of the data I'm gathering is all about, is trying to corroborate this latest finding. And then we have to understand, how'd they get there? Did they climb up the cliff? Did a storm suck them up from somewhere else and drop them on the top? So as in all science, when you investigate something, you always come up with a lot more questions than you get answers.